Matthew chapter 12. And we'll look here at Matthew 12, 6. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ talking about himself. Now they're in the fields and the Pharisees are angry because the disciples are, you know, rubbing corn on the Sabbath. And in Matthew 6, 41, Matthew 6, 41, Jesus says, knows how it's red lettering, the men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. Because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, Jonah, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. That's Jesus speaking about himself again. And in verse 42, the queen of the south shall rise up in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the other parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. And that's Jesus again. You know what Jesus said about himself? He's the great. You know, there have been fools in life. There was a boxer, Holly. I'm the greatest. I'm the great. Where is he today? Uh, I don't know where he is. I, I, I assume if he had ever believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior, he's in heaven. He's been absent from the body and present with the Lord. If he had rejected the Lord Jesus Christ before he died and never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, then the great Ali is in hell. Now, I want to take this moment. I have a web page over here, and you're not going to be able to see this on SoundCloud. But if you're watching the video, this is why Pikia. Yeah. It says a list of people known as great. Now, here's Cyrus. He's in the Bible. Alexander. We know Alexander the Great. And but I want you to see this list here. These are people who who's known as the great. Now I'm gonna go try to go slow. Just watch these people. Look at them. People in their lifetime, Alexander the Great, Catherine the Great, Cyrus the Great. Again, that's Cyrus in the Bible. He's great because he followed the Lord. Genghis Khan, Henry's of Kings. Look at that. Look at these people who just think they're the great, or people gave them the title of great, Peter the Great of Russia. Where are they today? If any of these people put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and I don't know, all right, they've been absent from the body and present with the Lord. If they died without belief in the Lord Jesus Christ, these great people are in hell. I hope I'm going slow enough. Christian, is there really such a title for a Christian to be? We're not great, we're sinners. I'm not great, and I'm going to be great. Look at that, a pope, two popes, three popes. You mean men that have deceived the world to think that their church is the Holy Father, and through their church and their sacraments, and then you die if you believe in the church and go to hell, they're great. But now, look at this one here, Jewish. See this? Look at it, Jewish. Where is Jesus? You notice Jesus is not in this list. The world does not think Jesus is great. Now, people say, you know, doesn't everybody just love Jesus? No. Jesus said himself, marvel not. Uh, no, it's just, he said, know that the world hated me first before he hated you. I don't remember growing up in Waterford, Connecticut, through grammar school, and we had a middle school, and then I, I went to two different high schools. I don't ever remember hearing about Jesus at all. Never mind Jesus the Great. Now I'm saying Jesus the Great because he said it himself in Matthew 12, three places. Now, if there's anybody who has the right to call themselves great, God. 
because God is Jesus and Jesus is God. And, you know, we got our great team. We got a great church. We got a great pastor. There are people, places, and things that have the name great in them. You can get it at a great value. This is a great car. Vanilla is a great flavor. That athlete is great and outstanding. That was a great movie. We had a great time. And yet, where is the greatness of God that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again? Not, not only did he die for me, he came out of that grave three days and three nights according to the scriptures. Friend, no other human being, male or female, is going to top the greatness of Jesus Christ. And I get people that walk up to me in the street ministry, well, I'm good. Okay, well, the Bible says there's none that do good, no, not one, but you're not great. And yet I have met people who, who walk in and breathe in and living to think they are the great. And we had expression, I'll clean it up a little bit, but their poop don't stink. You're not greater than God. You're not greater than Jesus Christ. And that's why you're not going to go to heaven by your good works, by your offering, by you doing something. Because you have to be greater above the great Jesus Christ and history and the media and history. And I mean history, I mean the, the, the books. The Library of Congress and the books that have not made the Library of Congress. Nowhere but the Bible. Nowhere but the Bible. Do we see Jesus the Great? And I'm going to look up a thing here. I, I, I do a search. I just want to check something here. So I know you can see it on the screen. You see what I do. I want to check something here. Uh, so, greater, greater. I just want to see. All right, so other Bibles have kept the word greater. So uh, we'll give them that credit. Look at that. The, the greater, greater, greater. Oh, wow, that's. I did not suspect that. We'll try one more place. Let's do. You want to do Jonah? You want to do. So let's do Solomon 42. We'll check it. So at least modern Bibles, I don't give them no credit, but uh, greater, greater. So, okay, we got that there. So even the modern Bibles keep the greatness of Jesus Christ. But the world doesn't see him as, as great. And even Christian, you know, we got a great church. No, you don't. We're the lads to see in church age. If you are if you are hearing this and and there has not been the rapture yet, you are presently in the lives of seeing church age. We are in the church age, including Stiley Haber, who does things with the Bible to, to help people get saved and help people to grow in the Lord. Even I, we make God sick because we're lukewarm. There's nothing great about our churches. There's nothing great about our pastors. There's nothing great about our preachers. There's nothing great about our evangelists. Read Revelation chapter 3. And when we come up, oh, we're just pride, ignorance, boasting, which is a sin. We don't lift up the greatness of Jesus Christ as much as we should. The very fact is, I am not going to hell. April 25th, 1987, I believed on the great Lord Jesus Christ, on the great gospel. And so let's do a search here again. And let's see something here. I, I like how you guys can see this now. This is great. So for, I mean, if you're SoundCloud, I'm sorry, but we're looking at the computer. Great shows up 962 verses in the King James Bible. Greatly, 87 verses. Greater, 87, I mean 77 verses. Greatness, 32. Greatest, 21 times. And look at this. 
It looks like some form of great oh, separate Galatians, Ruth. Ruth and Galatians look like the only books of the Bible that don't have Psalms has it the most. Revelation than Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Boy, that's a lot better than what the world puts on the internet. On an encyclopedia. They mention people I got rid of with great or given in their name or titles, and even had a designation Jewish, and yet there's no mention of Jesus Christ. You know, when we do get the glory, those who are saved, out of the church age, that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, those who were saved by the Old Testament sense under the law, like David and Solomon are going, uh, Ruth. No, Ruth wasn't. My money's going. But those who are under the law that did what they were supposed to do under the law that are in heaven. Those before the law, Abel. And those who will go to heaven through the tribulation period. And those that will go to heaven through the millennium, however the means of the salvation of those dispensations, those periods of times are. When we get to heaven, the new Jerusalem, the new heavens, the new earth, there is God and the Son and the Holy Spirit, God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit sitting on the throne. Why are they on the throne? Why are all the angels, the seraphims, the cherubim, the saints, the 24 elders, and all the people that are there in the eternal life, that are not in the lake of fire? Why is God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit there on the throne? Because they're the greatest. They are the great. They are the greater. Where the world gives them no title of great. We will in eternal life give them the praise and honor for their greatness. Uh, let me check one more place here. I want to check one more thing. I love how you guys can see this now. I'm thinking of one person, please. Revelation 1.10. Behold a great voice. The great tribulation, great sword. Great earthquake, great men. I'm looking for something here. Let me go to the end of the book. Talk about the city is great and high. Great mountain. Great. Look at that. Let's. All right, small again. Look at look at the close of the book of Revelation. Revelation 21 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold the tabernacle of God. Revelation 21 10. And carried me away in spirit to a great and high mountain. That's heaven. That's glory. And showed me a great city, New Jerusalem. That's where I'm going to live. That's my address. And in the, in the city, it was a great, there's a wall great and high. Friend, you don't read about those greats in, 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 the, in the textbooks of the schools. I don't even know, know, you know how far religions talk about this greatness. Or well, we already saw they had listed for greatness pope. No pope is great. Friend, there's only one great. And don't you dare ever to say, oh, I heard this great preacher on the internet, you know, the great style. No, don't, no, 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 no. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner by, 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 by saved by grace. I have no greatness, and if there is any greatness, it belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, there is one great above all the greats. And only one person in that list is mentioned as found in the Bible, the King James Bible, Cyrus. And man, he helped those Jews. He guided those Jews. And God blessed them. Alexander the great is in the Bible, but he's not mentioned by name. 
But let me close off here again. Matthew 12. Let's look at this again. Matthew 12. But I say it to you, notice how it's red lettering. This place is one greater than the temple. You know, we got a great church building. No, there's one greater than your church building. That's Jesus Christ. That's Jesus Christ speaking. Down to verse 41. The queen of the south. Oh, wait, verse 41. The men of Nineveh. Well, we got great people. We got great people. We got great people. But the men of Nineveh, great people, shall rise up in ju judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. We got a great man. Nope, there's one greater than man. Whatever that man does. That's a man that died, that was eaten by a whale, that died in that whale, and he came resurrected out of that whale, and he preached a message, and an entire city got saved. And Jesus says, I'm greater than he is, because Jesus is God. I'd love to see the whole entire city of Daytona Beach get saved. Jonah got an entire heathen city saved by his preaching. I think it was six or seven words. And he did it with an attitude. And he sat underneath a tree waiting for God to destroy the city. Great preacher. I'd go home and pray for the souls. One man, great. And Jesus said, I'm greater than he is. <clears throat> the queen of the south. We got great rulers. We got great you know, kings and queens and military leaders. The queen of the south shall rise up in judgment and, and shall condemn it. For she came from the other posts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Solomon was the king of Israel. Solomon was a wisdom given by God, understanding given by God. So we got great kings and rulers, and behold, greater than Solomon is here. Who's the greatest ruler? Who's the greatest king? The king of the kings and the Lord of the lords, the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God in the highest, and God is Jesus Christ. We as Christians cannot put ourselves, we cannot put other people, we cannot put places, and we cannot put things greater than our great Savior, God and King, Lord of all, Jesus Christ. We sin. And we must teach our children because the schools are not going to teach them. All right. They may teach. I don't even think they teach about that. Well, yeah, they'll teach about you know Peter the Great. They'll teach about Alexander the Great. Well, let me sit down and show you Jesus the Great. <laughs>